So actually uh, we found out what the initial problem with uh, this uh, chassis as an original uh, in an original box was uh, it didn't have anything to do with lifting up the head or uh, head carrier up and down but it's actually it was the pump because uh, if you remember from the start when we first uh, turned on the, this printer uh, when it was still undisassembled the capping station was torn off and besides that we, we've tried to fix that at once but besides that something was probably wrong with these sprockets uh, it either skipped uh, skipped some teeth on the sprocket when it's spinning or maybe something was broken inside or something else I don't know but we actually had to pull this old pump out and uh, this is this is a used pump but uh, fully functional so we're gonna put that inside and but one more thing that we need to do is that these these pipes for draining the the waste ink are exposed they're pretty much transparent so what we need to do is to hide all these pipes uh, hide away from the UV light so we're gonna isolate the pipes with the, with the tape so we won't bother you with filming that part but uh, we will later later on we will show you how the, the thing looks when it's isolated and here we are so this is a proper way to isolate the tubes on the pump for from UV light so as you can see not a single piece of pipe is exposed no more everything is isolated with the tape and so and we've said earlier before that there was a problem with the pump that came originally with this printer so it showed error when you start the printer so let's go ahead and slide that back in and you can also see how it's done It's not that hard really but you have to know where to screw and unscrew. Uh, We need the long screwdriver for the first screw that goes to the front. I'm gonna just it's a little bit tricky. can be done nevertheless that's the front side that's the this is the holder from the side maybe it would be better if we fix the back side the rear side first only one screw on the rear side that's the rear and that should be 
easier to fix the side holder there's one one screw holding the side holder and the other goes directly through the pump so this is the one one on the outside and we have to place one more on the inside to the to the back we just have to be careful not to not to pinch anything because we will be having problem that we won't be able to see later but also of course be sure to check if the there is some wasting exiting the the tube on the on the bottle in the rear so i think that's fine and we're gonna connect the pump and also we have to connect the ground it's a bit tricky but when you do it a couple of times it's not a problem So that's the ground wire, we have to place this carrier back, also quite, quite a tricky part, but if it's gonna just stand a bit over there, we will screw it later. good so it's in place we just have to put some screws and uh, also we got this front front piece of metal that goes goes like this actually we got has to uh, Two screws holding it from each side. It's like this. So we're gonna fix that too. To get a bit more sturdiness in the the chassis um, both screws go from the right to the left
about it. So that's it. Um, actually, when we turn on the printer, the printer will check where the head is with this encoder strip and we'll place the head or head carrier back to its ready position ready one more thing we have to do with this uh, printer is to test print uh, cmyk uh, test print we have put the cover back on and actually we're gonna paint this cover later because there's been quite a few drips over here with the ink and we have to connect the fence on the front side so that's just one cable over here on the side get the side and let's turn on the flatbed the pump is working turn on the uv lamp and we've already table to the back we've already have document in the printer's memory so if everything checks out we will be able to see all four colors printed Okay, so uh, as you can see uh, the front of the CMYK test was uh, misty because the uh, table height wasn't set, the table was too low so I've readjusted it during the print so actually it's all good now over here pretty clean print so that will be all for this repair for this one.